Hey guys, it's Marshall from Going Gear, and this is the quick and dirty review of the new XML2 version of the Claris XT11. All right, so here is the new version of the Claris XT11. This is the XML2 version. So the original XT11, one of the most popular lights we've ever had, got really great feedback on it concerning the interface and just overall design and everything about it uh, from the tactical law enforcement guys. They really, really like it. This is the new version of it, makes some really nice improvements. So powered by a single 18650 or two CR123s, gonna give you 820 lumens on max output. If you wanna see the specs, as always, you can get those on our website. We have the complete run times and outputs and all that kind of stuff. So a couple of the changes that they made, let me just show you the, uh, the light side by side. So this is the original XT11. You can see I've had this for a while. Still in pretty good condition for being beat up for, uh, for a year or two. But uh, they made the strike bezel a little bit more aggressive. And they also gave a kind of a bead blast, less reflective appearance to it. And they also improved the threads. Uh, the original XT11s also had a plastic combat grip ring. So this piece right here, they eventually replaced it with a metal one. But the new XT11 does come with a machined aluminum combat grip ring. So it's going to hold up really, really well. You don't have to worry about it breaking. Not that the original one did, but it had the possibility since it was plastic. Pocket clip on here is removable, so you can pop that off if you want. This is also removable, so you just remove the tail cap. You can pull that off if you want. Interface on here, really nice interface. You have two switches on the end. You can kind of see one is sticking out more than the other. The main one, anywhere you press on the end, 99% of the time you're gonna hit that one. And that's gonna be uh, momentary if you lightly press it and then click it all the way for constant on. This is designed as a tactical light, so it is always gonna default to max output. You have the secondary switch here if you want other outputs. You just tap it and it'll cycle between your three different outputs. And there is no memory on this, so if you turn it off and load, turn it back on, it's always gonna default to that max output. If you have it turned on, press and hold and it's gonna go into strobe. You can also do the same from off. So if you press that from off, it'll go right into strobe. So pretty cool interface on it. You also have some nice accessories, optional accessories that you can get. The stuff that's included, uh, you have a holster, so it's a nice holster, a lot better than the standard stuff that you get. You also have lanyard, spare o-ring, spare boot cover tail cap if you need to replace that for any reason. So that's the stuff that, that's included. Optional stuff, a more aggressive strike bezel. So this guy is really, really popular. You can screw this one off, screw this one on. You get a nice uh, aggressive teeth if you want to use it for an impact weapon or whatever else you want to use that for. Digging in the dirt, I don't know. Actually, I don't recommend that. Forget I said that. <laughs> and then you also have some filters and diffusers that you can get. So you have red, blue, and green for filters. These are machined aluminum with glass and uh, the bezel just screws off. Those screw right on. And then you have a filter on there. Pretty nice option. Same thing with the diffuser. It'll take and just diffuse the light. So that's the light, that's the interface, all the optional stuff that you can get. Actually, one more thing, pressure switch. You have a pressure switch that has the two switches so you can access all the different modes using just the pressure switch. And if you'll see more, if you, if you wanna see more in depth on all this stuff, look at the extended review. Uh, I go more in, in depth on all this stuff, including the light. But there you go. We're gonna go ahead and take this outside and we'll show you how the XT11 XML2 version does outside. All right, we're outside with the Claris XT11 XML2 version. Go ahead and try it out, show you how it does. Dock house on the lake down there, about 100 feet away. We'll zoom in, show you how well everything's lit up. You can see de details out there really, really well. See what's on the table and, you know, you can see the water down there. Just pretty dark this time of night. Shine it around, different bushes and trees and stuff like that. And uh, cycle through the outputs real quick so you can see those. Low, it's not going to go out a super distance. It's not what it's meant for. Up, it's more for up close kind of stuff. But you can see bushes and things like that about 20 feet away. Still lights those up pretty well. And then you got the higher outputs when you need them. So there you go. That's the Claris XT11, the new XML2 version. If you like it, you can buy it from us at goinggear.com. If you want to see a much more in-depth video, we'll go out a longer distance, talk more about the details and everything, uh, check the description. I'll have a link in there. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.